Hi everyone, I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and Business and Personal Success Strategist at TotalGenius.net, where I help you discover your genius, a combination of your expertise and life experience, and build it into a profit-generating business based on your purpose. And today, I wanted to talk about uh, holistic strategies to empower your entrepreneurial success. So it's the beginning of the week, and I think that, you know, uh, overall, we all have our business goals and everybody's working very hard at them, but many things detract from achieving the money you want to make, the success that you have, and overall, as a business owner, there are things that you need to do and, um, and think and actually uh, create in your business in order to achieve your greatest success. So that's what we're going to talk about today and these are holistic strategies meaning that we're really going to target the root, get to the root of the problem. So you know I, as I titled this it's about your individual success, you as the entrepreneur. So uh, first I want to uh, I want I want to say something that is going to um, that I want this whole overall uh, broadcast to be about. And so if this phrase does not resonate with you, then this video may not be for you. But money is the echo of value. Making money and uh, producing money in your business means that you understand the value that you are and the value that you're delivering. So in order to empower your success, everything we're going to talk about today is going to help you understand those particular things. So uh, first of all, and, and I, I want to set up some, uh, some basic rules for this whole broadcast because I'm going to talk about um, health also. That's not the only thing I'm going to talk about, but that is something I'm going to talk about. So I'm not a doctor. I'm not a certified nutritionist, but I've done in-depth research. I've had... Uh, you know, almost my whole life I've been studying uh, holistic nutrition and health and uh, so uh, and I have a lot of um, holistic nutrition uh, doctors, psychotherapists uh, that are my clients so if you need help in that those areas I can refer you to people. Uh, money is important so money is the echo of value uh, so money is important, uh, but we're going to focus on, um, again, the root. And this is all under the stand understanding that we are human and, uh, and we have three brains. So this whole, you know, everything I do in actuality is based on those three brains. You know, we have our, our fight or flight brain, our fear brain, which wants to run from everything, sometimes including ourselves. And uh, our emotional brain, which is the, um, the our, where our heartfelt decisions and gut reactions lie, those are where real decisions are made. Our own decisions and the decisions um, of, our, of our BBF ideal clients. And then we have our stupid thinking brain. It learns, but then it justifies anything that you believe to be true. So... This is, the, this is the example that I use um, is, you know, you're anorexic, but your stupid thinking brain says, if, if you think that you're fat, um, the stupid thinking brain says, oh my God, you are fat. Look at, that, um, look at that flock of skin hanging off of you. So we have those three brains. And so creating your greatest success and empowering you involves uh, first developing it inside of you before you can actually achieve it outside of you. If money is the echo of value and you are the successful CEO, then you need to um, be the one of that value before you can produce it in your business in order for somebody to see it and see it as value and then buy from you. So, uh, uh, let's see. So, okay. So, I want to talk about the things that hold you back before we get to the solutions. So, the things that hold back uh, an entrepreneur's success is uh, number one, you know, overthinking and overwhelm. 
you know, those two things are very related. And uh, in fact, over, over learning, over doing all of those things uh, are the result of uh, our three brains. So, you know, we have 60 to 80,000 thoughts a day. 95% of them are unconscious. So literally like repeating the, repeating the same patterns over and over again. Um, and uh, uh, 80% are negative. It's you, me, everybody. We have all have that negative thought. And uh, let's see, we, and over 50% of what we do are habit. So we're kind of living our own Groundhog Day if we're not conscious of it every single day. So things like overthinking, overlearning, um, overwhelm, and all those things, those are produced by uh, all of that repetitiveness going on in our brain. With the fear brain, you know, you see all these um, fabulous things online and, oh my God, I should do that. I need to learn that. Wow, this is interesting. And suddenly you're just uh, caught in a vortex of, um, of self-created overwhelm. And so if you understand that you have 5% control of your conscious thought, that's what we're going to really focus on today because I'm going to teach you some things uh, to empower that 5% of conscious thought. Uh, and to empower and and somewhat change the 95% of unconscious thought. Uh, other things that hold us back are FOMO. So if we're empowered or we're powered by, not empowered, our fight or flight brain, our fear brain, um, that means that uh, you know FOMO is fear of missing out. So if you have Facebook open all day, if you think that you're going to learn for free uh, on Facebook, and so you just uh, and that's where you get your clients. So you know, uh, trying to prove yourself online in Facebook groups as it's being taught, uh, you know, then you get sucked into this vortex of fear because you can't control this fear brain; it doesn't have a voice, and so uh, you know, you start to fear. Oh my God, I'm not getting clients. Oh my God, I'm not making money. Oh my God, why are they so good? Wow, you know, depending on the day that you have, um, some days you may have good days, but if you're depending on something like Facebook and you're afraid of missing out, I want you to shift that fear to the afraidness of missing out on your life and your own success. If you've ever... Uh, listened to, watched anything, read anything that I've written, you know, this is, uh, FOMO is what tears most people down. The way that business is being taught right now is to, uh, is that everything is centered around Facebook. Facebook is a powerful tool and it, that's what it is. It's a tool. It's part of a successful strategy but if you are just on it thinking that, you know, oh my God, I'm going to miss out on the next great thing that's being taught, then you probably don't even know what it is that you need to learn to, um, to get you to the next place. So FOMO, okay? Uh, fear. Fear uh, turns into overthinking, which then turns into procrastination. And I've heard people say, I'm going to go away and think about this. Or, or it goes into uh, the non-existent tomorrow land. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Tomorrow comes and it goes and it goes and it goes. And you never get to it because there's other things that um, are, are more urgent. So um, those are things that, there are many other things, but those are the main things that hold entrepreneurs back. So if we understand those things, the, thing I'm, the things I'm going to teach you today are going to help you manage that. But understand, you know, if we're 95% uh, habitual, uh, uh, unconscious thinking, if you don't consciously decide, so it, this is a decision because, you know, Facebook is designed as a, uh, as a habit forming tool. So if you don't consciously decide that you are not going to fall victim to FOMO and you are more interested in your own success, then 
then, then you have a chance to create your individual success. And so while I, while I said in the beginning, you know, we're, we all agreed that money is important, money, if you're only focused on money, is not where your greatest success is. In fact, if you are just focused on making 10K, 20K, 30, you know, 50K a month, that's a very unfulfilling goal because what happens when you make that much? What if um, you make that much? It, does it not have an end goal? You know, I want to go to Paris. Why? Why do you want to go to Paris? Um, you know, if you have no meaning for the money that you want to earn, money is flat. You can take it and burn it, and then you have nothing. If somebody took your health away, trust me, I know. If somebody, uh, if one of your family members got hurt, let me just say, money may help. It doesn't take away the pain if somebody dies in your family. So if you have no meaning and purpose for that money, then money is not a worthy goal. And so, you know, we as humans are hardwired to, uh, to search for meaning and fulfillment in our lives. That is something that... Um, you know, that, that, are, that psychologists, researchers have studied in depth. And no matter how, who you turn to or, or, um, or you know, what, whatever you believe to be true, those, uh, that principle is, is found in everybody. You know, they ask people at the end of their lives. They ask people in the middle of their lives. Uh, they ask people who, who have had things taken away from them. And we're all looking, so one, uh, one psychologist, I, I can't remember his name, he said the reason why we are uh, looking for meaning is because we're trying to look for the thing that will help us live past death. And so I know I'm getting very deep, but you, you actually need to think a little deeper than I want to make 10K, I want to make six figures, I, you know. We are all, we're going to, you know, we agreed at the beginning, and if you don't, you know, then this is not the broadcast for you, but we agreed in the beginning, we want to achieve a worthy goal, and that's where our true success lives in our overall lives. So if, if we're hardwired to want to look for meaning, then, uh, then we actually need to have meaningful, a meaningful goal. And so, you know, uh, this is found in, uh, in our purpose. So I'm, I'm going to, this is not like, I'm not going to say, you know, have this huge, I'm going to explain it in a second, but I'm going to quote something that I read, uh, Victor Frankl, he's a Holocaust survivor and he wrote, man's search for meaning. And he wrote, uh, when you understand the purpose of your life, the vision for what you are working towards, why it's meaningful to you, you will fight to make it happen and find significance and meaning in that thing. So this man was like tortured uh, as a Holocaust survivor. He saw people die in front of him. And he was able, you know, why he wrote that book was he was able to create a beautiful life for himself inside uh, that prison and after. And so, um, you know, if somebody like that can say that, you know, this is, this is not some like woo-woo thing because so, so I'm going to talk about, you know, what really um, creates our success and what we're really subconsciously searching for. So Tony Robbins has broken it down into six human needs. So we're all, we all are like striving for, for these things. There's six human needs um, and probably one or two of them are at the highest level. So when I work with my clients, I always have them do these and rank them so that they can understand what is important to them so that I can understand so I can help them position their business and their daily activities towards these things. So there's six human needs. You can find them online. You don't have to write this down, but it's significance. You know, uh, do you do you need to feel important? We all need to feel important, but how important is that to you within these six? Growth. So growth is a human need. 
we all are, you're either growing or you're dying. And in fact, we're actually all dying. We're getting older. Um, but growth, like, you know, actual achievable growth is something that just humans go for. Uh, contribution. We all want to, you know, make our own difference in our own way, whether you're altruistic or not. Um, we want to be a part of something um, and contribute to it. Know that we had a purpose. Um, uncertainty. You know, uh, Groundhog Day, you know, I said 95% of our, our thoughts are unconscious. And so we have the same thoughts every day and over 50% of our lives are habit. Those are things like brushing your teeth and, and you know, getting on Facebook and things like that. But, uh, you know, if you had no uncertainty in life, so literally if you had no bad days, nothing went wrong, you would be bored as ever. In fact, I heard this guy, he was like a, a multi-billionaire or something. And he was so, uh, he was uh, suicidal. Because he didn't know what to do with himself anymore. He didn't have a greater purpose, meaning, um, you know, people were catering to, catering to him. There was no uncertainty. So, you know, your level of uncertainty, you know, you may not jump out of planes, but you, we seek out um, things that distract us. So things like Facebook, because it's like scrolling, or Twitter, or like, you know, uh, we seek out that uncertainty. And then cert certainty. You know, um, we all want some sort of security. Um, and then love and connection. Love and connection is a basic human need. And that is why many people fear selling. It's because you, you think in the context of selling to be that somebody is, that you're trying to do something to somebody and they possibly could judge you and run away. So fear of judgment from others, that's every human being is afraid of that. But I'm going to, I'm going to help you understand how, uh, there's something greater than fearing judgment from others. And it's not fear based. So, you know, if, if we are hardwired to search for meaning and purpose. And, Vic, and Victor Frankl said that, um, you know, when you can find something that, that you want to fight over, that's a, purposeful, um, that's a purposeful goal. So I'd like to ask you, you know, what do you do in your business? What do you do in your business that makes you so passionate that's, that, that you would do if you didn't make money? Because if you can uh, shift the paradigm of what you do, so have your business set up correctly. So this is, you know, everything I, I, I talk about in my Positioned to Sell um, webinar. If you want to um, watch that, it's at positioned.totalgenius.net. And it's what my program, my one-on-one -on -one, uh, hybrid program is based on, the positionedtosell.totalgenius.net uh, program where I help you understand that when your business is positioned correctly, you not only have a greater purpose for it, but it actually is positioned to, um, to almost do the selling for you so that you don't have to focus and stress about, um, about uh, offending people or, or doing those things. So, you know, a well-positioned business is a purposeful one because then you're not trying to craft a message that is like, a, um, that makes you feel bad inside or that you, like you're selling somebody. You're actually living up to your highest purpose. So what would you be willing to fight for and do every day uh, that, uh, that, that you would do every day for your business? So you don't have to sell that. But you have to know that. You have to know that you get up every day and that you can get over fear, FOMO, um, uh, any of those things because you have a greater mission and, and that you're willing to get up and fight for it every day. That way then, you know, all those things that happen during your day, uh, it's kind of like, you know, everybody's showing up with, um, BB guns and you're like coming in with swords and cannons 
this is what happens when you have a greater meaning in your business is that you literally are like, um, you know, you're, you're fighting for your own success. And so I want to, you know, that, that's the basis and that's a solid foundation. So to understand, you know, which of those six human needs are, uh, are important to you and then what do you believe in? And that should be the basis of your, of your business. Then now I'm going to teach you some things that will empower you that, that you can actually do once you have that, um, that deeper meaning in your business. So that's the thing, you know, these are the things that will support that deeper meaning so that you can create your success and, and be living that highest value in yourself and in your business. You know, if money is the echo of value, then these things will help support that and help you communicate it so that people will see that value and want to buy from you. So uh, the first thing is, is, uh, you know, you should be asking yourself every day, you know, who am I and why am I here? Rather than, you know, you should have a to-do list, but your to-do list should be based on, you know, who you are, who is that highest value, and why are you here? You know, what value you're going to deliver to your audience and to your, your BBF ideal clients, what value are you going to deliver so that they will see that value and want to buy from you? You know, that's your purposeful mission every day. That's what you should be waking up thinking. The next thing is, is if you understand that 95% of our thoughts are unconscious and over 50% of our lives are habitual and 80% of our thoughts are negative, then um, we need to routinize, you know, habitualize the things that sometimes hold you up but are necessary to produce your success overall in your business. So I like to, to, to say it as, I call it incremental laundry, but what it is, it's turning your tedious tasks into, um, into daily habits. You know, Habits are actually part of our unconscious thought and unconscious patterns. And things like brushing your teeth and eating, um, those are habitual. You know, we do those and, and those are great. But also a habit. So if Facebook is a habit forming product, if you are, if you are not conscious of how you're using it, um, if you're not conscious about the other bad habits you have, slouching, um, you know, um, uh, I don't know, whatever bad, other bad habits you have, those things just become your daily life. That's why people wake up um, and then go, oh my God, what just happened? I was 28 and now I'm, I'm 48. What just happened? Because you become very unconscious of what just happened and, you know, if you don't routinize the things that you need to do in order to create your success, our willpower is limited. So this is why, you know, I'm going to work out. And then, you know, on the third day, you're exhausted. And, you know, and so you just decide to sleep in. And the next day, you decide to sleep in again. And then, oh, I th I, I'm off the wagon. I'm just going to start again next week in that future non-existent date. So we want to turn your tedious tasks into daily habits. So this means, you know, scheduling them in and doing them every day. This helps prevent overwhelm because when you do it every day, even if you don't have to, it turns into unconscious habit. So you have to force yourself to do it after a while. It just becomes, uh, you start to go, if you don't do it, you start to go, something's missing. I need to do something. So... That means things like working out, you know, eating right, uh, your work habits, uh, you know, networking. You know, many people hate online networking. You know, this is networking. The time that you spent on Facebook, on your social media, um, and then the other time that you spend creating and things like that, 
you need to turn that into a, uh, and, and if you are introverted and don't like doing video, but you, one of the things you determined, and I recommend this is to do a live stream video, then you need to schedule that in and do it every day because it becomes an unconscious habit. I don't like speaking out loud. <laughs> I don't. And, but I turn it into a daily habit. So, you know, just uh, about an hour ago, I was like, I really don't want to do this. I, you know, I would rather just go walk Harlow. But as I started to tell myself that, I was like, wow, you know, that makes me feel very vacant because I've been doing this for a couple weeks. So here I am. And I'm actually having fun. So turn your tedious tasks into daily habits. One of the daily habits that I preach this to everybody, whether you're an entrepreneur or not, and it's called active focus meditation. So if you already meditate, that's great, but that's not what this is. Active focus meditation is, with, uh, is, is within an hour of waking up. You go outside and you run or walk or do some sort of continuous motion for at least 20 minutes. And you do it at a fast enough pace that you are um, breathing hard. And you're focused on your success identity, your success goals. Um, you're focused on you know who it is that you're going to help today, the meaning of, of your business. You know, you're focused on your success. And then you're listening to you know, your favorite playlist, your favorite theme song, um, whatever, whatever that is. So when you do that, you produce endorphins, which are the feel-good hormone. You set your mind up on your individual success. So do this before you get on social media, before you open your phone, any of that. Um, and with the audio, it actually seals in that, that, um, that, that feeling. And what that does, science, research proves, is that it creates new neural pathways in your brain around your individual success. That's pretty powerful. And when you do it day after day after day, you actually build in confidence and focus. This is something that, you know, it, it just happens over time. But you also, uh, then, when you get online, when you go into uh, situations that are detracting from your success, you recognize it a whole lot more. And, and at the end of the day, whether you've had a bad day or not, you can already say that you had success because you did that. So, you know, understand that it's a, not only an immediate feeling of gratification, but it's a long-term strategy to produce and empower your success. And, you know, if you, if you do it correctly, hello, you just worked out. <laughs> so, you know, I'm all about... Uh, uh, making things uh, easy and efficient. And so you just empowered your success and you worked out your body. Okay, so let's see. Um, okay, in, now remember, I'm not a nutritionist, but I've studied holistic nutrition and health in depth. Um, but our brain, our, our cells, you know, the cells that empower your body are made of fat. So, you know, we think better, we run better, and our body works better when we empower it with high quality fats, first thing. And so, you know, many of you have heard of the Bulletproof, Bulletproof Diet, Bulletproof Coffee, Dave Asprey. So, you know, I do a version of that. You can watch my video of what I do. I don't do the butter, but it, it's uh, grass-fed butter, high-quality coffee, and uh, um, it's a tablespoon of, uh, of grass-fed butter, um, high-quality coffee, so some organic coffee if it's not bulletproof, and, uh, and a high-quality uh, XCT oil. So, uh, and he makes something called Brain Octane that I want to try also. But it's um, when, when you do that and then you put it in a blender, 
you blend for about 10, 10 to 20 seconds. It's actually the yummiest thing ever. I don't even like butter, but I, I can't do the butter for, because of my health condition. And many people actually don't. But if you do that with the coconut oil, it like... The first time you do it, if you've never done it before, it, your mind is like, whoa, what just happened? <laughs> like, you feel like somebody just wiped your eyes clean. And that's because, you know, our, if your cells are run from, uh, you know, fat, you just fed your, your cells, you know, what they eat. So, you know, I, I, I personally uh, couple it with a, uh, a green juice that's all green, no sugar, that uh, no banana, no, you know, no fruit. It's just like, you know, kale, spinach, uh, I put green tea in there, lemon, uh, apple cider vinegar. Um, you know, you can watch it in my video, it's on my YouTube channel. But, um, you know, I feed my body well, and that's how I start my day. And so, you know, whatever works for you, that doesn't leave you foggy brained will work for you. But I recommend that you check out the Bulletproof Roadmap so that you understand, you know, this man has spent millions of dollars understanding how our biology works. And now research shows, you know, that that actually is a, uh, a healthier way to go. And you can actually reverse your genetics. So I'm not going to get too into that, into that, but... You know, this is this information is available to you. And as my mentor taught me, when you know better, you do better. So I just taught it to you, so now you know better. So you, you have no excuse. Uh, the first thing in the morning, you know, before you do your active focus meditation, you need to give yourself what Sean Stevenson from the Model Health Show calls an internal water bath. That means that, you know, you drink some high-quality spring water or whatever it is, and you, you drink it. Like, I recommend, you know, at least eight ounces, but, you know, dr down it because your body was sleeping and that means that it's dehydrated. So if you wake up and, um, and you, you feel panicked, so this is actually a research-backed study. So, you know, many people wake up and you feel panicked and that's because when you wake yourself out of sleep, it sends your, your, your cortisol you know, the, uh, the fight or flight hormone, like into like craziness. Cause y you know, you were asleep and now you're like, Oh my God, my alarm just went off. And, and that causes stress, but that stress is not real. It's actually just your biology acting up. So to combat that, you know, you can even keep this by your bed, but you know, guzzle down a thing of water. Some people even do a high quality pink Himalayan salt. Again, you know, you know better, so do better. So, you know, at least guzzle down some water, especially before you do your coffee. Um, oh, I am so, like, this is a big one. But do you have back problems? Do you sometimes, like, feel like y you're going to, like, fall asleep? Or do you sometimes have just trouble focusing? Well, friggin' stand up. Sitting is worse than smoking. That's what research shows. Because in fact, it cuts off. Uh, your body's not meant to sit. In a, to sit. And so you're literally like cutting off your, uh, your circulation. And so, you know, and also you're impacting your spine. And so when you, when you sit for long periods of time and, and your, your arms are here, you are just, you're setting yourself up for long-term um, health issues. So I recommend if you, if you can't get a standing desk, find a counter that is at the right height and stand. You know, I know, you know, people get tired, but you know what, ha what you should do when you get tired? Cause standing is actually bad too. If you just stand in one place all day is to, uh, move every hour, go outside and walk. Um, you know, that's, that's a good thing anyway. Our systems are based on the ultradian rhythm, which means that uh, we have a limited amount of focus, and that focus is usually within a one and a half to two hour time period. Well, that's a great thing to know. So you can like set a timer when you work, and then every, you know, one and a half to two hours, 
you can like decide, uh, you know, uh, my Facebook ad strategist, he does 40 jumping jacks at his desk. You just move, like move your body, you know. Are you sitting right now? Because stand up and stretch. Like actually that makes you, um, that makes you happier, makes you feel better, and you will prevent back problems. You know, we're empowering your success. Plus, I think you burn more calories. I don't know. <laughs> this is something that, that I researched, but you actually do burn more calories when you're uh, standing. Uh, and, and you keep your stomach taut. Okay, wait. Um, okay, so when you plan your schedule and you understand it works on the ultradian rhythm, so the one and a half to two hour increments, that means that, you know, you should plan your incremental laundry, your tedious tasks in like a time period during the day, whenever, you know, it is that you sit and work. You should plan creative time. You know, we all need our, our brain time. Um, you know, you should plan whatever it, your learning time. Um, and you know what you'll find is that you have very little time to waste time in distraction and FOMO on Facebook. When you understand what it takes to empower your own success and it's based on a meaningful, something that's meaningful to you, suddenly, you know, uh, FOMO becomes, wow, I need to get to my day. You know, if we're, if we're wired, hardwired to look for meaning and fulfillment in everything, um, I want you to understand that Facebook is, they've done, they've done studies, like wired people's brains. It gives you shots of dopamine every time like something is liked and, um, you know, every time that, that you get validation Personally, I would rather get personal validation than that from a meaningless like. Because, you know, a like doesn't mean someone's going to buy from you. It doesn't mean that you're going to have greater success. It doesn't mean you're going to lose those 10 pounds you want to lose. You know, so at the beginning, I talked about the three brains. You know, you need to actually control your three brains. Uh, two more things. So I know this is kind of going long, but you need to, uh, find the fun. So now I'm going to get to the real definition of success. Success, you know, just as Viktor Frankl said, is about understanding and making the choice to have a beautiful life. And a beautiful life is not made up, made up of an end destination. There is no end destination. Because you say you want to make a million dollars. You know what? When you reach a million dollars, you still have to get up every morning. Your kids are still screaming. You still um, have to fight those three brains. Um, and so if, if getting to where you want to go is not the most enjoyable thing that you do every day, then you don't have success. So success actually is Finding the enjoyment. So you've heard of love what you do. That's not like some big concept. That means love what you do every day. From the screaming kids. From my health condition. From whatever challenges you have. If you can't find the greater meaning and purpose in it. You're going to have a very hard time um, achieving the, your highest level of success. Because we all have challenges. We all have things that hold us back. And um, those things are going to occur. You don't reach a point where suddenly you have no problems. You just don't. And so, you know, when you can find that meaning, and it may not be pleasant even during it. My health condition is horrific. But I know that during that time when I learn, I can help somebody with that information. So I go through it. And then, you know, the rest of the time, I want to make it as fun as possible. I want to have a purposeful day. And I want to laugh and enjoy it. So, you know, I think it's fun. I think it's fun to sit here and speak my mind. I think it's meaningful for me to help somebody understand that you're not alone when you beat yourself up in your head. 
And I think it's purposeful when I get to teach people how to set your business up right and to discover the purpose of your life. If you can have those things in your life, in your daily life, then you have true success. So live what you do. People have made it out to be this like, you know, false concept, but in actuality, loving what you do every day, every minute of every day, even in your toughest times, is what where true success is. You know, people meet me and they go, wow, you have the best energy, you know, I can feel you. They have no idea what I go through every day, so I have to have good energy, because if I don't, you know, I would be laying on my bathroom floor right now. I've had a, a really hard physical day with my health condition. But I know that when I'm able to uh, to lessen that and have a greater purpose and meaning and, and, and then find ways to make it the most enjoyable possible, then I, I end my day happy. So these things are important. And why I, I talk about my health condition, it's not so you feel sorry for me. It's because I learned the hard way. And now it's my job to help you not have to go through a hard way. And so, you know, take it to heart or don't. But if what you're doing isn't working, um, then you need to find a way that does work. So, you know, those are my ways. And just like other people who are teaching things, um, you don't have to learn everything that is being taught. You know, getting GTD, getting things done, you know, people that write books, they haven't like... You should look for the higher concept, but how they achieved it were their own personal discoveries, just like what I taught you. So if it doesn't work for you, then it's not your strategy. But you know, all everything I teach is based on science and research and higher strategies. So however you can get to that is how you need to get to that. Whatever you determine is your greatest success. This is why following people can be very dangerous because suddenly their success becomes your success and the amount of information that you know is very limited to um, to you know the guru that you're learning from. The, just understand that at the end of the day and at the end of your life, the only person who has their head on their pillow is you. And whatever is going on in your mind is your life. Your life. So, um, you know, I'm sorry, this, I didn't mean for this to be such a serious broadcast, but empowering your success, it's important to me for you to understand what it takes. And it's important for me that, that you actually um, decide to do something about it. Because remember, tomorrow is, a, is, is, non, is non-existent. So, you know, if you start it today, make a list of the things you need to do. In my group, I, I, every day I have a, uh, I mean, sorry, every Sunday I have a, a done list where everyone can contribute to your done list. This means that on Friday you say, I did this. So you, you can actually talk your brain subconsciously into believing that, it's, that you did it. And now, you know, you just have to work out the steps to, to get sure and make sure it's done. So if you want to join my group, it's at the Genius Collective on Facebook. Um, and if you want to watch the class to get your business and you positioned at your highest value, you can watch that at positioned.totalgenius.net. If you want to work with me and have me help you get your positioning and your schedule down um, and empower you, then you can check out my website at totalgenius.net and my new program at positiontosell.totalgenius.net. All those links are below um, uh, in the post that I wrote. And uh, that's it. Please share this with someone. I would appreciate it if you got something out of this that you share this with somebody who you love, who you feel um, you know, could benefit from this information. Have a great week, everyone, and I'll talk to you later.